we are going to present the custom encounter form that we have developed for rheumatoid arthritis and scleroderma for recent versions of OpenEMR. By recent, I mean for one, zero, and later. These are based on our own application that has been based on OpenEMR. So most of the text you'll see on the screen right now is in Greek. With the, with the exception of the forms. Let's select the sample patient. In this demo version, we only have uh, one patient, so let's just search for one. Let's create, let's create an encounter. We had already created an encounter for this patient, but let's ignore it. We're going to choose a category for him. Store the visit. And we're going to the encounter forms. We're going to select the rheumatoid arthritis form. The rheumatoid arthritis form calculates the DAS28 scores depending on whether the not depending on the number of swollen, tender, and swollen and tender joints. Upon clicking on each joint, we are presented with a drop-down menu where we can choose whether it's swollen, tender, or both. Let's select a few joints and set their state. Right shoulder, swallow. Right elbow, swollen. Right wrist, swollen. Right MCP, five. Tender and swollen. Right PIP5 swollen. Right DIP5 swollen. Let's add a few more. Right acromial clavicular tender and swollen. And now, let's scroll down to see where we can enter the CRP and or ESR and general health values, depending on the formula we want to use. Please note that our encounter form automatically detects whether only one of these values have been, has been entered. If both of them have been entered, it calculates the DAS28 score with both formulas and it presents the value in the relevant box. So, let's enter some values. CRP, 55. ESR, 46. General Health, 65. And now let's click on the bottom labeled DAS 28 score. Both scores are calculated. Let's store the values. Okay. Now, let's go to Edit to see the form again. And let's go to the graph. Let's check the Dash 28 box here. Now we have the, uh, the option to show whatever we have stored. Let's display the DAS28 score for CRP. And here's a graph. As is the case with all LBF forms. Alright. 
Now let's have a look at the modified Rodnant skin score, the second form that we have made for rheumatology. Once again, we use a dummy, but this time it's different. Instead of joints, we can select various areas of uh, the human body, and for each one we can choose how badly it is affected. Let's get to it. Anterior chest, let's say moderate thickening, abdomen, moderate, right forearm, mild, uh, no, that was uh, right upper arm, this is right forearm, mild thickening, right hand uninvolved, left upper arm, mild thickening, and let's say we're done. Now, to calculate the Rodnant skin score, we can just click on some score. And it's done. Now we can store the values we set and calculate it. Here we can see in the in the overview of the of the visit what we've stored. Let's go to edit and now we can see a graph. To see the graph, we have to select the Rodman score, and here we are. As is the case with all LBF forms, but this time, thanks to the code we have created, it's all been enhanced to provide a much richer way to and and much better way to, to enter the data that rheumatologists need.